Hi, um, my name is Joan Beachy and um, I want to do a tribute to my nan, Joan Margaret Spriggs Beachy, who died of cancer when I was 12. I'm really scared to do this because um, it's not like an, you're acting or you've got a character. You know, this is part of my life, this is shape, shaped my life. Um, so I was brought up by my nan and uh, I, can, I can remember everything being so happy, like our family was happy, she held us all together. God, she was such a wonderful person, she was the best person I've ever known. And then um, we moved house and when we moved my nan started to lose weight. Um, the doctor said that she had an irritable bowel and kept sending her home and um, within a, a year of, of moving we lost her um, she died um, I can remember my uncle Dennis coming and getting me and um, taking me to the hospital and my last memory of my land is um, she was in the bed with all tubes coming out of her and I, I remember like this gurgling sound like gurgling and and I was only 12 and I like like I, I knew that she was dying but, but she promised me she'd never leave me so um you know I think it took me, I don't think I, I've ever got, gotten over it and I wonder what my life would have been like if she'd lived because um, things were really bad after that and it like, split our family up and um, I, you know everybody went crazy and I I miss her so much. I miss, I miss, I miss cuddling her. I miss the smell of, smell of her. Um, I wish she could have known me as an adult because she shaped me in so many ways. You know, my strength, my backbone, um, all come from my nan. Um, they say I look a lot like her and um, my temperament's a lot like hers too. And, you know, I just want to remember her coming across the square from work, from the pet shop, in a big white coat, really happy with her arms open and me running into them. And, you know, life's been really complicated, but I do it all again just to have them 12 years with her because I love her so much and I'm just sending my love out to everybody out there who's affected by cancer my poor friend Nick who's got a tumour in his neck at the moment and Tasha who died of skin cancer at 27 Maxine, Peter and just never anybody who's uh, been affected by this horrible, horrible disease. My heart goes out to you.